So we just arrived at one of my favorite Austrian wine producers, Dillinger, located here, completely organic. Bio wine gut, meaning organic winemaker. He makes many different types of wines, reds, whites, rosés, sparklings, an awesome style. And he works completely in certified organic vineyards. I'm super excited to go taste his wines, tour his vineyards, see what he's all about. How, how old are these vines? These vines are 100 years old. Wow, really? Yep. Huh. So wow. in the idea of a normal winemaker, you, everyone says, uh, cut this vineyard and plant it new. Sure. But this is really a uh, good vineyard, uh, good wins, uh, old wins. Um, so I will never cut it because it's perfect for me. Mm. What, what kind of grapes do you plant typically? So normally, so in this area uh, called Kellerberg, we have mainly Grüner Vetliner. I have here St. Laurent, a little bit of uh, Sauvignon Blanc, but um, all the other things are Grüner Vetliner. Okay. I see and irrigation hoses, but they're not connected to water. Yep. You, do you use them? I use the irrigation before I cut the, the herbs mm -hmm. to prepare the teas, because uh, the thing is, if you have 100 years old wins, you don't have to irrigate it. Johannes, why, why do you make wine naturally? Because uh, I personally like it, like it more than, than the, the, the intervention stuff in the, in the cellar. So for me it's always to do uh, wine with low intervention. And uh, I think it transports uh, perfect the soil, or better the soil than, the, than the, the classic or conventional stuff, and therefore I do the naturals. For me it's more, more going with the wine in the cellar and not the winemaker. So I'm, I'm a grower. For me it's essential what is in the vineyards, how, how looks like my grapes, how I feel my wines or my wines and therefore uh, I harvest the grapes, I ferment it and that's it. Mm -hmm. You let nature do the rest. Yeah. 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 So I don't like uh, grapes with a lot of sugar or with, with too much of sugar. So you pick earlier? I pick earlier, but my grapes are uh, physiologically riper than before. Okay, okay. And does it, how, do you, how do you do that? Is it in the farming? Is it in the season? Does it depend on, on the grape? It also depends uh, on the whole work, the whole year, what you're doing in the vineyard and how, how do you work with the soil? Uh, how do you work in the winds? Uh, so for me, it's important to have uh, not too much uh, uh, leaves uh, or stem here, these stem? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it should be um, very light so the wind can blow through. Ah, okay. So it ah. dries out faster. Ah, right. So always, uh, for me, it's always uh, also the customer uh, one part of the game. So if you don't have a customer who buys the more or less inter uh, industrial uh, wine, no one will produce this wine style. Right. If, right. Uh, so I think in the future, when when everyone says we don't like this this style of wine, no one will produce it anymore because who should buy it? I think you you know what I mean. <coughs> yeah. So everyone and also the the winemakers in in my village, the others, everyone says, "Wow, oh, we have the new yeast. It brings more flavor in the wine." Uh, and I said, "Why do you need more flavor in the wine? Is it not enough now?" Who should drink this wine? Because it smells like a perfume. It's uh, <laughs> no one needs this. Thank you, Mama, for cooking. Mama's giving it. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama.